As our church approaches bicentennial and our worship services leading up to that, we're going to have history moments. And today, Larry Ammons is going to come and share with us an important uh, history moment. Larry has been here for a lot of history and is part of our history itself. So, Larry, please, please share. Yes, I've been here for a lot of our history. Uh, it's my privilege and pleasure to be kicking off our historic moments for the 200th anniversary of our church. We will have historic moments each Sunday now from here until the 27th of August. And uh, I want to feature this morning one of these red books. This is the history of our church that was written by a person who had a PhD and had grown up in this church, was a professor at Mars Hill College, and some of her ancestors were founders of our church. So she really had uh, interest in doing this thoroughly, and she did it years ago. This was published in 84. Now, as you leave later this morning, these books are free, and we have them as you go out that way or either one of these doors. There's plenty of books there, I think, but if you don't get one this Sunday, we'll replenish it because some other people will be here next week anyway, and we will be sure and have books for everyone who wants them. And if you look through this some um, between now and August, you'll find that uh, you appreciate our history a whole lot more than you have in the past. Uh, I know that's certainly what it meant to me. But uh, it started out that Haywood County was not in existence, of course. Buncombe County existed and went all the way to the Tennessee line and down around to the Georgia line and over to the South Carolina line. And that was all Buncombe County. But in 1808, the North Carolina State Legislature went ahead and separated Haywood County out of Buncombe County. And uh, the people here at that point had a sheriff. They could actually record deeds and wills here instead of going to Asheville, settle estates, prosecute criminals, and sue each other without having to go to Asheville. That was a pretty good deal. Well, it was 15 years after that that our, a group of people here in Waynesville decided that we needed a church here. Uh, there were already two other churches that had been organized, one down in Canton and one at Crabtree. Um, but on August 1st in 1823, uh, 27 people, men and women, gathered to organize a church. And these people were examined by three Baptist preachers for the soundness of their faith. Probably they were judged by the articles of faith that are on page 18 of this red book. And the people, many of the ones that were there, we don't know all of them, are on page 15. So you can see some of these things in reality if you look at that. Uh, we here today, of course, stand on the shoulders of those people who originally founded our church. I want you to look at your pew that you're sitting on and the one in front of you, those are over 71 years old. This uh, sanctuary was dedicated 71 years ago when the benches were in it then. <laughs> so where you're sitting and lots of other things are facilities that our church has had that were put here by other people and it's meant so much to our members and to our community because we do so much as a part of our community. We, as a congregation, are part of a Christian beacon of light to our community, sending a message to all who pass by our location here to remind them of God, Jesus, and perhaps a faith that they once had or need to find again. And this red book is called faith of our fathers living still. It's up to us to keep the faith living as others have done here so many years. And I hope you'll pick up one of these free books if you don't have one. I've got two or three at my house, but if, if you want another one, go ahead and get it, it'll be fine. 
And uh, that's my moment for today. And next week, Dot Wood will be telling you about the different locations of the various uh, places we have built buildings in the last uh, 200 years. And of course, this one being 70 years old is about a third of that time frame. So this has been the one that we've used the most. Thank you.